Hello everybody and welcome to my time at Porsche where today we are going to try and upgrade the workbench so we can try and make the... Something is a work in progress but I am not sure what. Okay so we have some mail today by the looks of it so let's have a quick look. Letter from Town Hall. Today is the day of the bright sun. Celebrations will start at 9am in Peach Plaza. Don't be late. Or no presents for you. I want presents. Is it 9 o'clock yet? No, it's not. Let's see what Emily has to say because I think we spoke to her at the end of last time, but then I had to go to bed, so... Um, so we need sand mouse, so... You take a breather, I'll help you. Yeah. Right, so we need to find San Mao quickly. Oh, there he is. Look, 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 look. <gasps> Hi, San Mao. Wow, it's like the easiest quest ever. Put him down. Wow, you're really good at this in such a short time as well. The rest of the chick troops all scattered around the road when I ran out of the San Mao. Can you help me capture them as well? Ugh, really? I have to remember to go behind them, I guess. In there. Let's see one here. Boop. Okay, keeping an eye on the time because it's going to be time for the festival soon, so we need to get to Peach Plaza. I know you're saying that's unlike you. Unlike you to actually keep an eye on the time. Right, well, it won't be long now. I'll just pick up a few rocks and stuff. And then we'll see what present I've got. In fact, I could just talk to Emily as well. Oh, okay, the celebrations have stopped. Okay, let's we'll we'll hand that in later. Okay, everyone's there, look. Woo! Wow, look at all these people that I've never met. Like always, the airship will something, something, something. These gifts represent all our feelings, so let us be thankful. I'm guessing the airship will drop presents. So I'll follow everyone. Oh look, there's presents dropping from the sky. Oh, Everyone's getting them before me though. What? But where's my present? Stop stealing all the presents everyone. No. Follow that airship! Finders keepers! Wow. I don't know if I can pick these presents up or whether it's just... It's just a fun thing to do. Now my presents! Oh, Papa Bear likes to eat meat, so I'm guessing you do. Oh, I can! I can open the presents! Pumpkin pie and some meat. Okay, I've got to keep at the, the head of the pack here. Where's the airship? Oh, there it is! Up in the sky, it's going this way. Gotta watch it. Watch out for when it drops presents. It's pretty cool. I, got, I did get two. I didn't realize you had to be so quick. What's a knight without a sword? Whoosh! Whoosh! Just quickly open all the presents. Oh no, someone got that one and that one. Quick. Got quite a few things here and that means that I will hopefully be able to sell them for a bit of money and get my workbench. Oh, there's one. Oh, I got it quickly. I got it too quickly. Run! Oh! I'm rubbish at this. Oh no, there's one. Ah! Stupid airship. This is pretty cool though. See, if I look at where it's dropping it, then... I can't change the camera quickly enough. There's one, two. Got an apple. And some bread. Where's the airship going? Round in circles by the looks of it. Oh, I'm loving this. So funny. 
I've got loads of stuff as well. <laughs> Hello, Papa Bear. You should come get a present too. Oh, quick, 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 quick. <gasps> no. Mm. Too many people. What's going this way? Okay. I might have more luck here. I am enjoying this very much. I like free stuff. I feel a bit bad that I'm going to probably sell most of these gifts, but, you know, it's going to help me immeasurably. I don't know if it's going to drop any more presents or if that's it now. Come on, airship. What are you going to do now? Going to drop more presents? Oh, yeah, it's done. It's finished. So what did we haul in our little... Oh, lucky we didn't do much more because we would have been uh, out of time. So we got some meat, some pumpkin pies, a sword, some shrimp of some description, some apples, some bread, and a sword. So I'm gonna go and sell most of that. <laughs> I do think uh, I should have a go at fishing before long as well. I think for making money, that might be quite a good thing. I'll see how much all this fishy stuff sells for. If it sells for like one a piece, I'll be like, nah. But if you can get some stuff that's like a decent price, then it might be worth doing. Everyone's going back to their homes. I really enjoyed that. That was so fun. It was cute. Right, so. Meat sells for one. I don't know if there's a meth if there's a way to cook it at the moment. Pumpkin pie sells for 30, so those get sold. I'll see if there's anything I can do with the meat, maybe. Practice swords sell for a decent amount of money, I think. 26, so they're good. I'll honestly probably make my thousand out of practice swords. Get 30 for those, so those are going to get sold. Oops, I should have sold both of them at once. Apples are two. <gasps> Toasted bread is 50. Sell that. I'll see if I can do something with the meat and the apples at all. Oh, apples are just from kicking trees, so I'll just get rid of those. But meat, I think I could probably do more with it. Resin. Stone stools, things like that. Uh, so I'm now at 265, so I'm a quarter of the way there. Which isn't too bad. Right, so next job of the day is to use up all my stamina running across town. But next job of the day is also to um, go and find some marble so I can do this marbles and table and stools for Isaac so he can play his game of go or chess or whatever it is he's playing i don't think it's either of those games i think it's something different but whatever game it is he's playing we will help him play it in the park by making him stone stools i really hope that when i do this quest he will be sitting in the park every time i go over there i don't know where the, technically the park is but whenever i go there he'll be sitting there playing his little game of stones And I will be happy that I have done something to help the world. Right. Um, gathering tons of little rocks doesn't seem to be really helping. But you can never have too much stone in this game. So definitely worth it. So let's see if we get any marble out of this one. Aha, we did. And we got copper ore. And we got tin ore. And we got everything. That was cool. All right, so we'll go back to our workbench. And we'll finish this one off and see how much money we get. Or do we even get money? I bet we don't. You watch. Isaac's game. Oh, no, we get 100 gold for that. Don't mind that. Oh, I'll, I'll cut down a few rocks for 100 gold. That's not too bad at all. Right, let's see what we get from Emily. I think she's going to give us some eggs or something. Thank you so much. I couldn't have gotten through today without your help. Here's some eggs I just picked up. You can have them. It's the least I can do. I'll see you later. Come on, you rascals. Let's go home. Hey, I got some eggs. I'll see what they sell for. <laughs> I 
I'm so bad. People are like, have this lovely gift. And I'm like, I wonder what I can sell that for. So mercenary. Pick up all these. Now then, let's have a look at what I need for this bridge body. Bridge body. Oh, we can make a grill with three copper pipes and some wood. Hmm. Then we could cook that meat. Let's see. Do I have any copper bars? Four. So I can make a few more. Let's go. The fuel's depleted, but I can refuel it. So I need to make six copper bars, I think. Hmm. Oh, that one's still making bronze bars. No! I'll have to do it in this one. Has this one got any fuel? A little bit of fuel. So let's make... One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to make six copper bars for me in like a day or so. But I need to cut down some more firewood. Or pick up more firewood. Or just chop down a big ass tree. Okay, that'll do. A couple of these. I'm finding now that my, my stamina is like plenty for the day. I've got plenty of stuff to do. I suppose today was a bit of a shorter day because I spent half of it like following an airship around so that was quite fun and got me loads of money too so that was good um right so let's get on and make the stone stool shall we so i had made <gasps> i need two marble no okay let's go get another marble then And we'll get that quest in in the morning, I would say, because it's getting a little bit late at night now. And we need our sleepy time. Although, seriously, if it goes to bed at like 8 o'clock at night and doesn't get up till 6 in the morning, that's quite a lot of uh, sleeping time. So, I need some rocks like this one. It would help if I hit them with my pickaxe. I'll get that one all. It must be steel or something. Oh, I got two marbles out of that one. That was all right. Three. Oh, cool. I can make two stone stools out of that. Okay, so. Back to the farm. Back to the workshop, actually. I'm pretty sure it will turn into a farm eventually. Definitely get more plots and things like that. A bronze bar we've got our first copper bar there i really do want to make a barbecue why not make everything in the book you know i'll have to find out what a skyver is eventually so we've made a stone furnace we've made a wood cutter we haven't made a skyver or a grill we're making the bridge and then there's the dd transport and we made a water tank So there's not really that much we can make other than the, the grill and the skyver, actually, other than, than the DD car. But I think making a, a grill to do meat is pretty cool. Right. Let us make this stone stool now. Uh, or the stone table, actually. Stone table, right. Done. So. We now have... Oh, we've got two stone tables. Oh, I'll have to sell that then, won't I? I actually were... You guys are probably screaming at the screen then, like, you don't even need any more marble. Let's make a stone stool, shall we? There we are. I can always sell these things, though. A stone table is worth... Is 
36 gold anyway. That's not too bad, is it? Considering all you have to do to get it is like whack a load of um whack a load of stones. Practice swords go for 17. No, 26, sorry. And they're just like wood and hardwood, so that's another really good thing to make. So I make like as many as I can of those. Oh, I need more hardwood apparently. No, I don't, I need more wood. Wow. Just keep like cutting down these massive trees and we'll make loads of money really quickly. As soon as I've got stamina left, I may as well just cut down. Oh no, okay, that's uh too big a tree apparently for me, that one. Well I never. Let's try this one. This one's fine. I'm just gonna deforest everything. I'll need to go for the stump as well. And more wood and more hardwood. Lots of hardwood in the stump. Those probably have awesome stuff in them. We'll just cut this one down just for some wood. I think it takes less... Um, with that better pickaxe, I think it takes less time to cut down those sort of medium-sized trees. It's pretty cool. Uh, this reminds me of worm. Just cutting down all my trees. Landscape in the land. Totally chilled out. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and um, where have you been? But um, Worm is like a crafting game. And it's a really cool one. W-U-R-M. Right, so. Let's make a few more of these practice swords, shall we? Now we have some more wood. How many can we make? Five. Right, and then we're going to go to bed, and then in the morning we're going to go and sell all of these things. Mm. Oh yeah, we need to refuel everything as well. Refuel! Refuel! Oh, I don't have any wood left. Oh well. I think I have. Yeah, I've got my 30 bronze bars I need for that next section of bridge, so we'll leave it for now. Night, night, everybody. Okay, it's the morning. And today, I'm gonna see how much money we can get from those practice swords and sell that table that we accidentally made. La la la. Stupid table. I do not have enough space in my inventory. Well, that's all the practice swords, probably. So let's just nip around here. And I'll just check what uh, quests there are in the guild as well. Okay, so I would like to sell... Um, see, don't I shouldn't sell the marble because if I can make that into tables, I can make a lot more money. Oh yeah, I also need to, to sell one table, right? And then I need to give the other table to the guy. And then practice swords, I need to sell those, I need to sell all of them I have in my inventory. Which is not as many as I thought I had. Hmm. I'll have to see what happened to those. I will sell cocoons. And get them from kicking trees. They're not that difficult to find. Save these fruits. If I find I can grill them on the grill, that might be worthwhile. Eggs, I'm not sure what I can do with. We're, we're a lot better off now. So there is a green question mark down here. This is Isaac. Here are your tables and your chairs. He says, excellent work. I'm impressed. Now I just wait for it to be set up and we can have a game of cross five. Oh, of cross five or two. There's cross five he was wanting to play. So that's another hundred goals for me. 487. We are almost halfway there. Right, let's go and see in the Guild of Commerce what sort of quests they have and whether they pay well and things. They usually have something on the board that I can do. Sometimes so they're things that I don't know how to do or... Okay, Higgins, get out of the way, you horrible man. Don't steal all my quests. Right, so this one. Someone needs five copper blades and will give me 300 gold in return. 
One single seat. Don't know how to make that. That's um, part of the DD car, I think. Four copper plates. Yeah, okay, I'll take a commission for copper plates and I'll take one. Oh, I can only do one. Okay, I'm glad I took the highest value one then. And to do that, I'm going to probably need some more copper. So uh, I might have to put off doing my grill because that's a lot of money I'm going to make from that one. Awful lot of money. Hopefully it'll increase my rating with the guild as well. Well, let's see what we need for was it copper plates yeah making copper plates it's saying here somewhere won't it bronze plate times oh please don't tell me Let's have a quick look in, in here and see how we make them. Because if I've taken something that I can't make, that's going to be a problem. Right, I can make one. It's three per, so... Let's make one. I need to make four of them. Got some more copper bars there. Uh, the fuel is depleted, so I'll refuel if I can. And I will craft a couple more copper bars out of that. So hopefully that might nearly be enough for it. I'm not sure. So was it copper plates? Three copper bars. So I can make a second one. Can't make a third one. So I need three, four more copper bars to finish that quest. And they're making, oh, four more copper bars. How handy is that? Right, let's get some more wood, shall we? I'm going to run out of trees at this rate. That is pretty handy. So we just keep chopping down loads of trees and making loads of practice swords. Oh, yeah, where did all the rest of my practice swords go? They're not, like, sat on the floor or anything, are they? So strange. Let's see how many I can make. One. <laughs> Yay! Made one. We just chop down every tree that we can, every big tree we can. So this one's of this size. We cut down every one we can of them. We can see. Should be able to make a load of practice swords. Loads over that side. I've probably chopped up, chopped down all the ones on this side. There's some up on the hill over there as well. Really hoping that these regenerate. Okay, done. That one. And this one. And then we'll see, uh, maybe one more after this, and then we'll see how many we've got. I might go and chop down some of the ones down by the rocks over the other side. So I'm not going too far away from the workshop, because otherwise it takes me forever to run back. And I may as well gather the twigs while I'm at it as well. Chop down things like this. Which actually has a surprising amount of wood in it. doing this like do you know it's a nice sunny day outside in real life as well and I was kind of thinking oh I'd love to go for like a little walk today because we've got some nice like nature and if you climb high enough up the hill you can see the sea from where I go walk in so it's really nice but actually I don't mind too much like spending half an hour on this first because it's, it's also lovely and sunny and like going for a walk you need, you don't get any exercise <laughs> you just you just put on more weight by sitting in a chair Life of a gamer. 
Okay, let's uh, go for this tree. Well, I kind of like this tree because it's like kind of by the gate and stuff. Looks pretty. But I am ruining the environment. Ruining the environment, she lab. Maybe get this one as well. But yeah, definitely looking forward to this expanding and like being able to do things like, I don't know, maybe keep chickens, hatch eggs, that sort of thing. Getting expansions to the place. And I honestly, I don't think, I think they've released this as a demo. I expect they have more features in or partially complete than they're really letting on with this because it's apparently going to be out towards the end of the year. So I'll definitely be coming back to it. I'm also keeping a really close eye on Lullaby Gardens, which is coming along an awful lot lately. So I'm really hoping that will have some something to show for itself pretty soon. Let's refuel these. I don't really know whether I should be being a bit more conservative. I don't know whether it, like, when it stops smelting something, whether it just burns through all the wood. So maybe should be being a bit more careful with my wood, but oh well. So let's craft as many as we can of the practice swords. I'll just check that those are actually in my inventory this time. I only got two in my inventory. Now, did it... It gave me plus five practice swords, right? So they're just sat... All right, okay. I need to chuck stuff out of my inventory. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go and see whether if I go in my house, right, in my workshop, and put things away. Yeah, I know, it's a, it's a loading screen. It takes two seconds, okay? Right, so I've got my old parts. I only have four of them. I need to go back in the mines to get the fifth. Um, but I could put away a few things so that I can get my practice swords because my practice swords will give me a lot more money than a lot of the other things I have like my eggs, I'm going to put them away these cocoons okay, we definitely, definitely need to try some fishing and see how that works in this game because, you know, no game like this is complete without fishing Okay, so I think the practice swords have gone and I don't think I was refunded for any of that either. I don't know, we'll see. I'll make another two though. So yeah, I've got to be really careful. That's something you guys need to watch out for is that if you don't have you pick up your practice swords or whatever and then you go inside i'll probably make another chest outside for just that reason um probably right next to here but if you have a chest inside the house and you go in to get it your stuff outside will disappear it'll clean it up so just be really careful of that i don't mind it too much this time because it was a bit of a for science I like to learn things like that and know that that's a, a problem if it is a problem in a certain game, but you guys can avoid it. So let's uh, sell some more sell some more practice swords. So we've got four of them. So that's 591. Now then, so that's, uh, so we need 410 odd to go. Not far off a thousand at all. So. If we can just finish off, have we got the copper bars yet? Four more hours, uh, nightmare. So the other thing I could do is I can actually craft some stone tables, which go for 36 each. And I can do a couple of them, I think. Hmm. Apparently not. Oh, they take two marble each. All right, okay. Well, that's cool. Wooden storage is 20 wood and you can sell them for 26 each. Useful. May as well just go and chop wood and chop stone and things like that while I'm waiting. But it's good to know what things sell for decent money. I say practice swords, stone boxes seem to be quite good. Uh, stone tables are quite good. They sell for a decent amount. 
I'd love to know what my grilled meat would go for. Also, I'm kind of a little bit like, I probably should be trying to level up fighting and things like that, but I don't want to do it on the cute little bunny rabbits and stuff. I feel like a monster. It needs to give me aggressive enemies so that I can feel better about myself. <laughs> Always a way in game. You, you shouldn't fight until until someone beats you up, and then it's all self defense. Every every game I play where I'm violent, it is self defense. Not counting the fact that I could just not play the game, but oh well. Not that I'm a particularly uh, attracted to massively violent games, as you can tell. As like games like this, I tend to play so. Things that are a bit sciencey, things that have a little bit of crafting to them, building, creating, that sort of thing. None of this like killing everybody to you can prove you're the best. But they don't prove anything. Right, that's my lecture over. Okay, got plenty of wood there now, so I should be able to make a few storage boxes, a few practice swords, that sort of thing. Um, practice swords are better until I ran out of hardwood and after that probably storage boxes. Oh yeah, let's just, before we actually do any of that, check that I have enough room in my inventory for these things. So I have enough room for five of them, which is great. I don't want to be losing, uh, losing my resources for no gain. Right, so practice sword, craft five. Confirm. Oh, and that's the end of another day. Copper bars are done. Got one more to do. And then I will have my quest done, my copper plates done. So I can get one more done there. I'm just waiting for that last one. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, well, I think we're going to have to do that in the next episode because that's going to be the end of this one. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was very much a, an episode of saving up and things like that. But I think it was pretty cool doing that little air festival at the beginning. I really enjoyed the little, following the little airship around. And it gave me good money. It gave me good things that I could sell. And then we're going to make a barbecue soon and we're going to grill all that meat and it's going to be really cool. And honestly, we're not too far off. I think we need one more trip into the mines um, and one more trip, uh, sorry, probably one more quest after this one or maybe just selling off a few more practice halls and things and then we'll have enough money to upgrade this, uh, this workbench to level two, so that's going to be pretty cool. Right, but anyway, for now, it's bedtime. So good night everybody, I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did please leave me a like. And I hope you'll come back and uh, join us in our adventures next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.